Hello everyone, Daz here, and in this Slider Revolution tutorial, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to import pre-made slides, pre-made layers, or pre-made text buttons and shadows into your own modules. Let's start with slides. First, let's create a new blank module. Click on New Blank Module, and then Quick Guide. In the top toolbar, hover over the Slides menu, and then hover over the Add Slides menu item. From here, we can pull in any slide we want from an existing module or from an existing template. As you can guess, the two menu items used for doing that are Import from Modules and Import from Template. If you have a module that you already created and want to reuse a slide from it, click on Import from Module. The Module Library window will open and it will default to your own modules. Select the module you want and you'll be shown a thumbnail list of slides that are in that module. Pick the slide you want by clicking the plus button, and that slide will be imported into your current module as a new slide, together with all of the layers and animations that were a part of the original. You can follow the exact same process with templates. Hover over slides, hover over add slides, and click import from template. This time the module template section of the module library opens. Again, select the module that has the slide that you want, locate the slide, and click the plus button to import it. Now if I click preview, we'll be able to see both slides have been imported and are working just as they were in the module or template they were imported from. If you only want specific layers from within a slide, you can import those without importing an entire slide. Let's select our original blank slide to demonstrate. In the top toolbar, hover over the add layer menu item. At the bottom of the drop-down list you'll see two items, Layer Library and Import Layer. The Layer Library option is used to gain access to Slider Revolution's free Layer Library. Click on it and the Layer Objects window will show you a bunch of different layers you can import that suit certain purposes, such as having large headings, titles, or other animated text. Using the menu on the right, you can filter the list to only show layers suitable for a dark background, or you can filter it to show layers that are suitable for a light background. Hover over any layer object and you'll see a preview of the layer. Click the plus button to import it into your module. In some cases, this will result in a group layer with several child layers being added to your slide. These separate layers are usually what facilitates any animations your chosen layer has. They'll also have names preceded by the word copy. If I preview this, you can see the layer is imported and its animations are working as expected. The second option we saw under the Add Layer menu was the Import Layer option. Use this option to import specific layers from slides that are already in your own modules. If I click Import Layer, you'll see we are taken to a screen listing our own modules. You can import a layer from any module you've created, whether you made the module from scratch or created it from a template. Just bear in mind that you can't import a layer directly from a Slider Revolution template until you've installed that template as a module on your own site. Most of the modules you can see here are modules created from Slider Revolution's templates. Select one, and you'll be shown all the slides and global layers that that module contains. Make a selection and you'll be shown a list of all of the layers within that selection. This list will also be the first thing you will have seen upon selecting a module if the module you had selected contained only one slide. You can select each layer you want to import by clicking on it. Selected layers are highlighted blue. Click Import Selected Layers. Let's quickly change our background via the Slide Options tab so that we can see our layers a little better. We'll make it quick by grabbing an image from our media library. Okay, that image will do nicely. If we click preview, we can see our layers are working just as they do in their original slides. You may want to modify animations and their timings to suit your personal design, but as that's a topic worth its own tutorial, we'll be covering that in an animations dedicated video. For now, let's look instead at how you can make quick changes to your content using Slider Revolution's many pre-formatted quick styles. Select a text layer, Go to the Layer Options panel and click Style. 
In the font and icon panel, you'll see the quick style button. Click on it and a panel will open showing the different quick styles available for that layer type. You can scroll down to see them all, or clicking on the tabs along the top will jump you to the different quick style sections that are available. Let's choose a headline style as that is more applicable for a text title. Clicking any of the styles shown will apply the new style immediately. Also, if you deselect all of your text and click a quick style, Slider Revolution will automatically insert a new layer for you with your chosen style. I'm going to quickly rename that and take a moment to roughly rearrange everything on the canvas. Okay, next up select our subtitle, click Quick Style, and then select the Content tab. Here we can see a variety of styles that are designed to be applied to a text layer. These can be used for fast styling of longer text content like subtitles or entire paragraphs. Click on any of the styles until you find the one you like. For headline quick styles and content quick styles, you can also click on the dark and light circle icons in the top right of each section to get a preview of how each quick style looks on a dark or light background. The Shadows tab will take us to the available shadow styles, which you can see in the Quick Style sidebar at the bottom right here. The four boxes you see there relate to applying shadows to the layer itself. The second, third and fourth box apply different shadow styles. The first box is used to remove any shadow styling you've already applied. If you want to create some space between your text and the layer box that you've put a shadow on, Close the Quick Style sidebar, then go to Layer Options, Style. In the Spacings panel, you can use the lower 4P fields you see there to add padding in pixels. They'll be 0 pixels by default. I might add 7 pixels of padding to the top, 7 pixels of padding to the bottom, and maybe some padding to the right and left to even it all out. Let's color the layer box that our text is in to make it stand out even more. For that, in the background panel, click on the BG color field and choose a color that will suit. That's looking pretty nice. If I select our cinematic titles text, quick style and then the shadow tab again, you can see under the four shadow boxes are four quick styles with the word shadow used to show them. Clicking either of these will apply a different pre-formatted shadow style to your text. If you want to make adjustments to the one you ultimately select, close the Quick Style sidebar and go back to the Layer Options tab and select the Advanced Style subsection. Under the Text Shadow panel you can see Effect is set to On. You can click that to Off to remove all shadow styling. If you have it set to On, you can modify the X and Y offset of the shadow. You can modify the Blur Radius of the shadow. And you can also use the Color Picker to further modify its appearance. We've seen headline, content and shadow quick styles, but there's also a fourth quick style that you haven't seen yet, one intended to be used for styling button layers. To see the options for that, we need to click Add Layer and select Button from the drop-down list. The layer gets added to the default top left location, and because it's selected automatically, the quick styles available for the button are also automatically displayed in the right sidebar. Scroll down to see them all. Simply click on any of the styles to select one. As long as you have your button layer selected, you can click on any of the quick styles to instantly update your button on the canvas to that style. If your button layer is not selected, clicking your button style will add that style as a brand new button layer. Buttons also have access to quick shadow styles, And of course, if you want to change the text on your button, you can do that easily too. Close the Quick Style sidebar. In the Layer Options tab, click Content, then modify the text in the Text Button Layer content area. You can modify any of the text in your imported layers the same way.
Let's finish up by holding shift and dragging our selection box around all of our layers. In the layer options tab, click the size and position subsection. Under the position and size field, click the horizontal align tool to center everything nicely. And that's how easy it is to start building professional designs from scratch using Slider Revolution's pre-made content. Thanks for watching and enjoy Slider Revolution. Start your Slider Revolution 6 experience now. The world's most powerful WordPress builder.